Hi guys, so long time no see. Um, I am kind of sick <clears throat> and we have a new setup. I finally got my desk set up in my bedroom and got a brand new ring light from Max's mom for my birthday. So we're going to test this all out. I'm going to be comparing the Tati Beauty Blendiful to all the other stuff that I would use. And I'm also going to compare it to a regular puff that you can buy at Walmart for $2. So, this is going to be interesting. I've only been using this for like a couple weeks ever since I got it just because I really wanted to get a really good feel for it before I reviewed it for you guys. And I feel like the best way to review it is to compare it to things that you already have and would already use. So I'm going to show all four of these on my face in pictures side by side and number of them and you guys are going to guess which one is which down below in the comments. I'm really curious to see what you guys think, or you can just comment that you think they all look exactly the same. That's fine. So, let's get started. I am zoomed in as far as I can get it, um, but I will, like, come up closer and show you guys, like, my pores and everything up close, but I'm going to give a little up close shot of the Blendiful. I just washed this last night so it is fully clean. I have washed this multiple times. It is a little bit dirty like around the seams. I find like the seam kind of grabs onto that color from the foundation. I don't really have a huge issue with that because my brush you know it it holds onto the color too and so does my sponge so it's really like not an issue for me i'm going to be using the same foundation for all of them um this is the infallible 24 hour fresh wear foundation in the shade pearl now i have not like moisturized my face prior to but I did last night and then I just put moisturizer around my nose and on my chin because that is where I have eczema and I have to and I have to put primer around there because it gets flaky and dry and it's disgusting. Sorry if you can hear my daughter and her TV shows. It's really hard to film when she is awake. So I'm kind of doing this on a whim. Hoping she will stay focused on the TV while I'm doing this. So I just used the Maybelline Baby Skin Primer. Some people like to dot their face with the foundation first. I like to do that when I'm using a sponge or a brush, but for some reason I don't like to do that when I'm using the Blendiful. So I just put some on my hand and just dab it. And I don't like to swipe it. I've tried that. Um, it just doesn't work well for me. Everyone's different though. Flip my nose ring up. I found that I do not like to use this for concealer. I don't know, for some reason, like, it just makes the concealer under my eyes look, like, really dry. So, I don't know why that is, though. It's a little flake on my nose. 
So I'm not going to use this for concealer because I already know that I don't like it and I can just tell you guys that I don't like it. I don't really need to show you. But everyone else that I've seen using it like likes it for concealer so it's probably just me. So I am just doing half of my face with this because I'm going to do the other half with something else. I don't know, for some reason when I swipe, it like, just looks really odd. Like, it almost like picks up the foundation that I put down, so I, I don't swipe. But again, I see other people do and it works for them, so you, this is why I just had to test it for a few weeks at least, and just get a feel for it beforehand and just figure out the way that works for me the best so it wasn't just like me showing you like what didn't work for me. I feel like a first impression of something isn't really that helpful. You know what I mean? And then sometimes I will like Put a little extra layer on in places that need it like that's the thing I don't really feel like I have to do that with a brush or um, a sponge but for some reason with this sometimes I do have to do like a second layer in certain spots which is fine it's just a difference and I feel like this does take longer. I don't know. I'm gonna time how long each thing takes. And we will compare at the end. Like just to get that really perfected look. It does take longer in my opinion. But we will see. Maybe I'm just imagining things. I feel like you do have to use more. Because I used two full pumps. And I already used like almost all of it for just the half of my face. So I'm going to use a sponge on this half now. This is the um, body sponge from Real Techniques. It's just like the regular one, but it's bigger. I love this sponge. It's just, I don't know, I feel like it's squishier too. It's just amazing. But I feel like you can get like really full coverage with it though, which I don't know. We'll go over everything at the end. Pros and cons. I do like though that you don't have to wet the blend of full because I'm kind of lazy. And with the sponge there is obviously going to be a little bit less coverage because there's like water on the sponge. I'm already almost done with that pump with the sponge so I would say that sponge definitely uses the most product for sure. I don't know why this pimple just turned into like a dark little like black scab. Like what? Excuse you. I'm going to scoot up close. Show my pores up close here.
Then I'm gonna apply my concealer and powder. So I'm gonna use the Revolution Conceal and Define under my eyes. And I'm just gonna use the brush that I use normally. Okay, and now I'm going to show you powders. I normally apply powder with my regular puff and then with the Blendiful. I use a different powder for under my eyes, so I'm going to use my regular puff on the sponge side. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Set and Smooth powder. And I just like rapidly tap that under my eyes. And this is just a little puff that comes with it, like down here. So, yeah. Nothing fancy, but it does her job. And then I'm going to use the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder on my face with my puff from Walmart. I have one for powder and then I'm going to use this clean one for foundation later. Keely came to join us. Say hi, Keely. Hi, baby. <laughs> hi, mommy. Hi, babe. Okay, so this is one half of my face. The other half is still no powder. I'm gonna use the Blendiful. I'm gonna use the opposite side, the one that I didn't use foundation on. And then I'm just putting that under is my eyes. It is pretty, isn't it? That's free plus. Mm-hmm. Use the bottom for the face. So here is both sides done with powder. I'm not gonna do blush and all that. This is just foundation, concealer, and powder. I'll come up closer. You can see under my eyes it's pretty dry lately. I don't know why, but it's really annoying. But there's both sides. Blendiful sponge. So, you guys let me know which side looks better. They honestly look the same to me. Like, I can't tell that, like, one side was used with something else. Like, they honestly look the same to me. So, I'll preference you guys. I'm gonna wash my face. Just leave this side. Hopefully, that's what we can do because I really don't want to do the Blendiful three times. So, yeah, I'll be right back. So, here is my face clean again. Still have the Blendiful stuff on this side. Now, I'm going in with a brush and foundation. See, I've used a lot less foundation with a brush. Just wanted to point that out. I only did one pump. My nose just does not want to hold foundation when I'm sick. 
looks weird, like, no matter what I do to it, so. The nose doesn't look great on either side, no matter what technique I'm using. So, this is a side with no concealer on. Again, looks the same, I think. Go red. Blend it in with the brush. And then I'm going to powder ah. it. So here's both sides powdered. Both sides look the same to me. Just my opinion. So now I'm gonna go wash this side off again and then use the little puff. We'll be right back. Okay, so this side of my face is clean again. And I'm gonna use the little cheap puff. I've never done this before, so this is a whole new experience for me also. Here's the side with the puff. Um, I'd probably say this is my least favorite one. It just looks kind of a little bit cakey. Um, but I am going to do the concealer and powder. And we will come back. So here is both sides done. I don't know why, but it looks like I have more of a like shadow on it on this side for some reason. Um, from far away, they look exactly the same. Um, no difference from my perspective. Up close, um, with the powder on, it still looks fairly similar. Um, it did seem to cover this blemish a little bit better though, um, so that's kind of neat. <coughs> In the very middle line where there's overlap, it does look a little bit cakey, but that's to be expected. There's like five layers of foundation on that area, so yeah, um, let's go up close. <laughs> And then I also just want to show you guys like the texture of the puff versus the Blendiful up close. <laughs> so as you can see the Blendiful is kind of just like this long microfiber kind of material. Like you can do that with it. Um, really soft. And then this little puff. Kind of the same, but kind of harder to see because it's white. Um, but it kind of has more like these little nubby kind of fibers on it that are a little bit shorter, a little bit less hair-like than the Blendiful, but still kind of a very similar feel. Just the Blendiful has longer fibers and is softer. show you those so that's it um my final thoughts on the blendiful um i have washed it a few times i've had no problems with washing it and tearing and breaking like it's it's still fine for me i have not washed it in the washing machine yet i've tried doing contour blush highlight with it and i just wasn't the hugest fan just because i'm so used to brushes and i just 
feel like it's faster. Um, and I, it, I enjoy using, like, the different brushes for each thing. Um, it didn't apply them bad, like, okay. it applied them, like, they look good, but I just prefer the brush. I do really like this for foundation, though. I do wonder, like, what the lifespan is on this. Like, when are we supposed to replace this? How long will it last? Do we have to replace it? Is it gonna last a lifetime? That's one of the things I'm curious to know, and I don't feel that's a question that she's answered yet. Because, you know, like, for the sponge, you if you use it daily, you kind of have to replace it every few months because it just kind of breaks down and disintegrates and gets dirty and just doesn't work the same, and it's just kind of gross. So, there is that. What do you want, baby girl? It's a mommy. Hold on, mommy's talking. You can go play for a couple more seconds and mommy will be almost done, okay? Mommy's almost done. Here, go take your friends. I wasn't the hugest fan of applying it with this little puff. Um, just It was kind of weird, kind of firm. I don't know, it wasn't my favorite. I'd rather use the blendable any day. It's just way more softer and it's bigger and just more comfortable. I really love my sponge, of course, I love my brush, but as a reference, like, even before the Blendiful, I'd go back between these, it's just what I was feeling, so now I kind of just have a third option to just rotate with, and I like them all equally, like, I can honestly say I don't really have a favorite, so, I don't know, it's... It's, this isn't my new favorite, but it's not something I hate. It's something I'm going to continue to use and enjoy. I'm just kind of neutral, I guess. Um, but I would definitely recommend it, and I really like the little baby one. I keep that in my purse to touch up, like, oils on my face. Absolutely love that. $18 price point, I think it's fine. Especially if this is going to last a long time, which I feel it will. But beauty blenders, this isn't a beauty blender, but... The beauty blenders cost like the exact same price and you have to replace those so I don't know. Um, I think the price point is fine considering you also get the mini one. Like I said I don't like using it for concealer. It's fine with powder. Um, it looks the same to me. So it's not something that's like revolutionary to me but it is something that is really useful and that I do recommend. So. It's really like a hundred percent preference with this and this and this and this. So thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you guys think about the Blendiful. If you've tried it, let me know what your favorite tool is. And yeah, I will see you guys later. Bye.